56 Charlie is a Super Puma helicopter serving the North Sea oil platforms off the coast of Britain. It's halfway through a long flight carrying 16 passengers to the Bray Alpha oil rig. As they begin their descent, the Super Puma enters the line of clouds that stands in their path. And then, disaster. The helicopter has been damaged, but they don't know how badly. Tail rotor! The helicopter is beginning to spin round, a sure sign that something's happened to the tail rotor. Ditching has become inevitable. They need to get the life rafts out, inflate them and board them quickly. For the first time, the pilots are able to see what caused the disaster. The rear rotor blade assembly and gearbox have broken off and are hanging down the side of the helicopter, held on by just a couple of pipes. On 5-6 Bravo, Brian Backhouse can see only grey seas. But suddenly, his co-pilot spots something. Like a guardian angel, 5-6 Bravo hovers directly above the survivors for over an hour, directing rescue boats and aircraft towards this tiny speck in the ocean. Investigators believe that 5-6 Charlie's violent end was caused by a savage lightning strike greater than anything it was built to withstand. And when the lightning hit, it exposed a problem in the carbon fiber blades that made them vulnerable. The tremendous heat created where the carbon fiber met the metal erosion strip could occur again. If Britain's air crash detectives are right, there is a real concern facing air travelers. Flashes of lightning far greater than aircraft are supposed to encounter are possible. For the Super Puma though, the lessons have been learned. The design of the rotor blades has been vastly strengthened. The erosion strips are now secured with heavy bolts. And pilots have been instructed to give storm clouds a wider berth.